This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. This is seriously what happens. Every time I stay in a hotel room for a week, like it just gets, look at this, this is bad. Lots of you guys wanted to see some more of this, so here's a close up look at the white cement fours. These things are pretty. Got these a couple days ago from kickscrew.com, and these are crazy, crazy nice, and some of you guys were asking for an on feet. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen a million. Why do I always drop shoes? Pretty sure. Siri, I'm not even trying to script this right now. Most of you guys have already seen an on foot of these, but some of you guys asked, so here's an on foot of these. The leather quality on these, to tell you the truth, is really good. I don't know how I waited so long before I finally grabbed these. These are great. One of the most classic, quintessential, like you need them in your collection, Air Jordans in the world. If you guys are feeling real, let me know down in the comment section below. But that being said, let's get out of this messy hotel room and into Hong Kong. So today is actually my birthday. It's sort of crazy, this is the first birthday I've ever spent alone in my life. I've always been at home with family, with friends. But I am pretty bummed out, I'm not gonna have my cheesecake. I've had cheesecake every single day, every single day. Every single birthday, since I was probably four or five years old. Speaking of birthday treats though, I was perusing around Google Maps today, and I saw there was a Nike factory store only 20 minutes away from my hotel. I love Nike factory stores. There's a whole bunch of awesome stuff there. The one at my place doesn't let me film in it anymore. So if we have an opportunity to go into a Nike factory store, we're gonna go into a Nike factory store. Guys, we made it into our first ever Nike store in Hong Kong. This thing is crazy. They actually have a lot of good stuff. They have these right here. I have an all wheat pair of these, but these are pretty cool in this like taupey purple. And then if you remember last time I was in the Nike outlet, I did a $100 Nike outlet challenge and we ended up getting like a low top version of these, except they were purple instead of this yellow. And I really don't like them and I'm 100% returning them when I get back home. My favorite thing I've seen so far is actually a really expensive shoe. This is a Ricardo Tici Nike Dunk and these cost around 280 US dollars for retail. And they're sitting here, wow, they're sitting here for around 95 US dollars and the retail was 280 This is actually a really good buy. The leather quality on this is amazing. And like, I don't know, if you like how they look, you should get these for $95. I don't know if you guys remember this one right here, but these cost like $300 or something when they were released and they're on sale for $879, which is around, I don't know, maybe $110, $115, the LeBron 13s. But the only problem here is you look size nine, size 10, size nine and a half, nine and a half, nine, 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 10, 10, 10. Like there's nothing, eight, 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 10 and a half. 10 and a half. Like the biggest size I've seen so far is, oh, we got a size 11 in these, which 979, that's not a bad price either. Check out these on the hash wall. I forget the exact name of these and there's no name on the box, but this is obviously a throwback 90s basketball shoe. They've made some sick colorways of these. I don't know if this is an original one or not, but I would so wear these in the winter when it's cold out, so you need sort of like a snow boot type sneaker deal. This would be perfect for me. I love the throwback 90s look. I know it's not really in right now, but it's bulky, chunky, it's not streamlined, it doesn't have boost, but I don't know how much they're selling this for. These are really, really cool though. I think I just found the greatest Nike outlet steal of all time. These Roshis right here are 219 Hong Kong dollars, which is literally 20, $25. These are like 20 or $25 right here. Do they have a size 12? The biggest they have is a size 10. This is a problem, but look at this, for $20, and then these right here are 319 Hong Kong dollars, which is around, let's say it's around 35 to $45, somewhere around there for 35 to $40. The international is mid in this royal blue colorway. This is a good Nike outlet. You also have these, 559, well, well under $100. The leather is really good on these, really, really soft. If you're into Air Force Ones, Oh, this is one of the cool like ultralight ones that doesn't have the big clunky midsole. That's sort of sick as well. This one's about $75. I remember Nike sent these to Casey Neistat once and then everyone started buying them off Nike's website. But it, I mean, for like a training or outdoor running shoe, ooh, the, look at that bottom. That's actually really sick. I don't know what that means. The in, it says or NI or in or something all over the bottom. These things are cool and like $675. 
They got good prices here. Okay, this is the best thing we have found the entire time we've been in here. I don't know what this is, except it's an Air Max 90 that has like, it's, it feels sort of deconstructed. It's very minimal up top with this gray suede, but then there's wood on the midsole. Like the, the entire midsole is wood right here. All this stuff right here, and then that stuff there. And then the inside is like of a shed of leather. But that is, this is actual wood on the midsole. That is insane. Wow, so that is that Nike outlet. I am, I am really, really impressed. Some of the stuff we saw in there, that was good. The variety in there was really good. Like they had a whole bunch of different stuff that you don't see, those wooden Air Max 90s, some of the older basketball shoes, some of the cool Roshi. Like Roshi runs for $20. The prices were my favorite thing there. Everything was so cheap. Like, go to Nike outlets in the States, in Canada, and yeah, they have cool shoes. Sometimes they have good prices, but usually it's like slightly below retail. That was, those were good prices. We honestly might need to hit up another Nike outlet before the day is over. Once again, the only unfortunate thing though is that they had zero zip, nothing, nada, zero. Literally zero shoes in a size 12 in the entire store. So we haven't found another Nike outlet, but we have found the Jordan Flight 23 flagship. I don't really know what it's called. It's just a Jordan store though. There's no Nikes. There's no Reebok. I don't know why there would be Reebok. Just Jordan. So if they have some cool stuff in here, might have to scoop something up for my birthday, buy myself a present. I know I just bought a, like a $500 windbreaker three days ago, but that wasn't on my birthday, so that doesn't count. Guys, they got like all gold Jordans. I feel like this is in every Jordan store. Some have the white and red, some have all white, some have all black, some have white with icy bottoms. These are sick. My favorite gold Jordan would probably have to be you know what? The twos actually look really good in all gold. That's a really random choice, but I think I might have to choose the twos. I haven't seen these yet. I don't even know if these are released stateside, but I have the first version of these, like the black with the camo. This is red with the camo. How much are these? 1,200 Hong Kong dollars. So that's, I'd have to take money out of an ATM. I don't have 1,200 on me, but this could be a potential purchase. These are really, really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty hesitant at first. I didn't know how I felt about the whole camo and the, the jump man or the design on the back and the jump man on the front. But I have the black pair and I really like them. And then I saw images of this leaked. I'm not sure if they released in the States, as I said. This is hilarious. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side just color comparison. <laughs> that is the same shoe. I swear that is the same shoe. That is hilarious. I didn't realize how much I had worn these until I just put these up side by side right now. These things are thrashed. I like pink shoes, but there has to be a limit at some point. Like, come on, come on. Really, Jordan Brand, we know you can do better, okay? I believe in you. I'm gonna give you a second chance. Please do better than this. So one thing I've wanted to do the entire time I've been in Hong Kong, if you follow some accounts on Instagram that post basketball courts and stuff, you always see crazy basketball courts coming out of Hong Kong. So today I decided to hit one up, we're gonna shoot some hoops. I haven't played in who knows how long. Oh, I played in London actually, I played in London to be fair. There's a soccer field down there, there's basketball courts here, there's more basketball courts there. There's a pink built. If I lived in Hong Kong, I would live in that building. So last time I was playing basketball at a court like this, I was in New York and some kid bet me for a pair of Yeezys. I don't know if you watched the video, but I hit a half court shot in the first try and you guys did not believe me. Like, Tom, you edited the video. I didn't edit the video. I don't practice regular things like 15 foot jump shots or how to dribble through my legs. I can't do that. I can hit half court shots though. Step number one, test the wind. Step number two, humidity, 87%. Okay, now I need to calculate my trajectory. I'm thinking the ideal arc is 52 degrees in this weather with this amount of wind. This is how you take a half court shot. Yes, woo! 
This city is honestly one of the craziest places I've seen in pictures, in real life, in video. If you guys have not been to Hong Kong, seriously, do it. Go to Hong Kong. There's just so much going on. Yo, guys, I need to calm myself a rainbow unicorn floatable toy. What is life without a rainbow unicorn floatable toy? Like, I feel incomplete right now. I think we found the stereotypical Chinese market. You got Chinese land, ooh. This is like a color overload. Okay, I just found the greatest thing of all time. It's a Donald Trump. Why would you want to wear a Donald Trump mask? Do you want to get shot in any other country outside of the States? I mean, like, you get shot in the States, too. Rooster mask. This is amazing. I don't know what Hawaiian t-shirts has to do with Hong Kong, but they got them. We found another market. I love these places. I don't know why I love them so much. I know why I love them so much. Light up fidget spinner. You need to plug it in though so I can't spin it. I'm supposed to buy a birthday gift for someone. I feel like this is a great place to buy like a really weird, kitschy, corny birthday gift. I'm, a too, I'm just too tall for this country. My head hits everything. Where is this sound coming from? I think Godzilla is coming. This is the second loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh my goodness. I almost completely forgot. We need to find somewhere that I can buy cheesecake today. This is the thing about Hong Kong. Your face starts sweating so much and I look like I haven't showered in five days. You don't want to know what's going to happen if I go an entire birthday without having cheesecake. Excuse me? Do you know where I can buy cheesecake? They didn't know where I could buy cheesecake. <laughs> 